Hi, I'm Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. Come on. Okay, so today is going to be a three card oracle you pick. Three card you pick oracle. And then uh, once that's finished, we'll do a dyadic cross on each of those three. Just uh, the first part of the dyadic cross, the first six cards. So this should be good. So this is the Druid Craft Tarot. And uh, it's sort of uh, on the magic of uh, Wicca and uh, Druidity. Or Druidry? Maybe that's the correct uh, terminology. Uh, Philip and Stephanie Carr Gom uh, with illustrations by Will. Worthington, really nice deck. Um, they're a little um, the car, the box is fantastic because you really feel like you got a nice quality uh, gift if you gave that. The guidebook is huge, and uh, the only thing I would say is that it's a shame it's not in full color, but it gives you some some useful uh, divination uh, for the cards in there. So I like that. The cards themselves, the one. Uh, gripe I have is that you have to dump them out of the box, which I'm not that happy about. But uh, the cards themselves, they're huge, so some people might find them a little awkward to use, but I like them. And uh, the divination that you get out of them is amazing. There's so much thought that went into each picture, every element of each picture, and um, so they're very useful in almost any uh, circumstance where you're going to use these. And I like to spread them out like this. Uh, if I'm doing a reading with someone, then I like to usually let them uh, spread them out like this to kind of get their energy into the cards. It's a good way to mix them up without, you know, damaging the cards too much, uh, which is uh, always important to me. So these cards are fantastic. Druidcraft Tarot. Okay, so for the three card oracle you pick, I'm going to use this uh, deck that was uh, created by my one of my favorite um, readers is uh, Marianne at Reading Light uh, Tarot. So this is her Revealing Light Oracle, and it's a 40 card oracle deck with instruction booklet, and it's beautiful. I mean, the cards are amazing. The little box that it comes in is very nice and, and substantial. You know, I love to have a nice box that they come in. And uh, the uh, work was done, you can see right here, creative developer Marianne Weston. And then the graphic design by Mets Mutsumi Young. Mutsumi Young. So it's a lovely, lovely deck. And I'll just say what it says. It says, Dear Reader, the Revealing Light Oracle aims to connect you with the divine and to allow intuition and self-discovery to grow. Using imagery, keywords, numerology, elemental uh, symbols, astrology, chakra colors, the Oracle offers an empowering spiritual experience. All elements work together, or the cards can be read interpreting imagery and keywords only, thus making them su uh, suitable for all. Namaste. Marianne, really like tarot. Love Marianne, as a matter of fact. I've watched her from the beginning, and uh, but that's enough about her. Let's talk about this. So they come with a nice little instruction pamphlet that is actually together, but I tore it apart because I like to use these different elements. This, uh, if you're not sure about uh, the chakra, the colors, this is a wonderful little guide for that. But you can find these everywhere. But that's a nice little guide for that. Then um, they give you a, a number by number um, um, interpretation of the numbers on the cards. Uh, first, it's 35, third eye, gut feeling, looking beyond the obvious uh, user intuition. And, um, and then here, uh, a guide to the elements, which I use a lot, and uh, also uh, more of those card number uh, meanings, and then uh, planetary and numerology uh, information. So it's all, I mean, the whole thing, just every inch of what she did is just packed with intention. And that's why I love using this uh, deck. I mean, I know that she did it with uh, thought and love and um, everything nice. So uh, these cards are fantastic, and we'll get right to it. I'll give them a little shuffle uh, in the beginning here. And we're going to pull three of them. So right now is the time for you to kind of ease your mind. Take a breath. Let it out. Consider what it is that you want uh, to address uh, with these uh, cards. You can pick one, two, or all three. Uh, or none, really. And just sit back and see what the cards uh, come out with. And if it applies to the situation that you're uh, concerned with. So, love, love, love these cards, and we'll do a spread right now, and we're just going to pull three cards. So this will be one, this will be two, and here we have three. So, if you, um, if you don't use oracle cards, uh, which I wasn't sure about them in the beginning, what to do with them, how would you use oracle cards, 
and uh, and so I just went ahead and dived in to purchase these from Marianne. And um, the cards then will be revealed. If you chose number one for your uh, Oracle pick, then that's going to be empathy. Okay. And let's pull out uh, our uh, cheat sheets, and I'll use these uh, right along with the um, with the cards. So empathy. So this uh, speaks to us of uh, when we allow our compassion to inspire us, all things are possible. When we allow our compassion. Allow your compassion to inspire you. All things are possible through compassion. It's a beautiful, beautiful message uh, for this number one card. This uh, yellow chakra uh, 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 speaks to wisdom. Okay, and then the number 33, let's take a look here, it happens to be the one that I read, I think. Compassion, inspiration, and motivation, helping others, standing in another shoe. No, that's not the one I read, but uh, it is a, a nice, um, a nice, uh, interpretation for this uh, for this uh, number. So that's number one, if that's what you chose. Number two card, if that's what you chose for your Oracle pick today, this is exploration. Look at that. And so exploration comes to us in the chakra color of blue, which is the throat chakra, communications, independence, truth. And uh, this speaks to um, embrace change in your life. It can lead to discovery. You know, I would almost say embrace change in your life. It will lead to discovery. So, uh, but uh, this uh, is number five on the shock on the numerology list. This is telling us self-discovery, doing things differently, confronting change, creative solutions. So, you know, five is always, you know, it's not the square set of four. It's not the equal number of six. It's that changing number. So if you chose number two in your Oracle pick today, that's a very good card. Exploration, embrace change in your life. It, it, it will lead to discovery. Now, if you chose number three, uh, this is intuition. I love all three of these today. So intuition is in this beautiful uh, uh, purple color. And uh, this is the third eye, psychic awareness, intuition, and sixth sense. It says, let go and trust yourself. Look at this uh, illustration for that. Let go and trust yourself. Love that. Love that. This nice bright uh, sparkle here for the third eye. And 35 then is, as a matter of fact, what I read earlier, Third eye, gut feeling, looking beyond the uh, obvious, and use your intuition. So really, really lovely cards. Any one of those, if you chose those uh, for your uh, Oracle pick. Now, we'll use the Druidcraft Tarot that we talked about. I'm going to turn these over and let this be our inspiration for the six card um, uh, first part of that. Uh, well, it's the Dyadic Cross, as a matter of fact. Then you just do the six cards. So we'll do six cards for empathy. What do we have for everyone today regarding empathy? When we allow our compassion to inspire us, all things are possible. Allow our compassion to inspire us and all things are possible. And you can see that this is the elemental sign of water. So compassion. Love that. I'm going to spread these out right down here and take six cards for this uh, divination. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay. Remember, this is going to be our guide. So the first card, the signifier for this dyadic cross, then, is going to be. I don't quite have this arranged the way I want, do I? Okay. The first uh, card, the signifier, is going to be the seven of cups, and that certainly is uh, the element of water. So empathy. So we're connected. We're working together. The cards are speaking to each other, and let's just hope they give me a good message. So the seven of cups is um, usually known as illusion and delusion. You can see this person is peering down in this clear, beautiful pool, and they see there's six cups here with the one more reality right next to it. So illusion and delusion, so is a signifier of this, um, of this pool. So let's see what challenge is that. you got to give us some meaning. The challenge to that is the queen of pentacles. And, you know, pentacles are of value, they're worth, they can actually be money. And the queen of pentacles is telling us, particularly in this druidcraft uh, deck, to, uh, look, let's keep, let's keep ourselves grounded. Let's have one foot on a stone, one foot on the earth. We're totally uh, grounded in our worth. And then um, she is about to, to beat the drum of her value here. To, and, and she sits in a throne, this, which also just uh, reinforces all of that. So the challenge to um, the Seven of Cups, looking at the choices that might be made, is being in control of your value to help you choose absolutely the right choice. The base of this reading is then 
the moon. Secrets being revealed. I love the moon card, actually. And so the moon card, it reminds me of, of my, my star sign. But the, um, the moon card uh, just speaks to uh, secrets being revealed. Um, our intuition and our uh, uh, earthly self uh, really just uh, harmonizing together uh, to uh, let us know what's important and what we can pay attention to. The moon is the basis of this reading, secrets being revealed. Okay? So that's great. The past of this reading, and we remember, we're tempering all of this with empathy, allowing our compassion to inspire us. Uh, the Four of Swords. The Four of Swords has taken a beat. So this fellow is, is comfortably found a little niche in a beautiful old gnarly tree where he's just going to sit. It's perfectly positioned to give him exact comfort. And um, he's just going to take a few minutes to rest and understand what's lying ahead of him before he proceeds. And uh, let's do that with empathy, of course, understanding what the issues are with someone else or with ourselves. Remember, you could uh, use empathy in your, for your own situation, not just empathy towards others. And then the sky of this reading is the Queen of Cups, and I love this card too. The Queen of Cups, you know, cups are emotion, passion, um, uh, and the Queen is the, is the woman who is fully in charge of her uh, emotions. And here, just uh, similar to this Queen of Pentacles where she's got, she's firmly grounded, this woman is dipping her, her toe into the pool of compassion while she's firmly uh, uh, rooted uh, on the soil. So Queen of Cups is where we want to aim for uh, when we're trying to, um, you know, make best use of our empathy. And then the likely outcome for all of this is the chariot. Things moving on at a rapid pace with some force and with some determination and with some uh, ownership of, of the plan uh, that we're making, uh, taking forward the chariot. So the message for this is with empathy, you know, look at the choices that are available. Don't be uh, uh, afraid to beat your drum, to show your worth. The secrets that are going to be revealed need to come out. The Four of Wands is speaking to you of taking a break to really understand what it is you're getting ready to communicate. The Queen of Cups is just re reinforcing that we need to do this with some compassion. And let's, but then, once we're sure about how we feel about this issue, let's get it done. Let's get it done and move on to the next thing. So that's the first Oracle card uh, of Empathy. If you chose the next card, which was uh, Exploration. Embrace change in your life, it can lead to discovery. So embrace change in your life. And that five is very significant of a point where we start to um, make a change, move things on to something else. I'll just reincorporate these cards right back into the pack and then um, give them a quick shuffle and we'll pull six cards for that dyadic cross uh, and see how exploration is going to make a difference in your day. Exploration, making a difference in your day. And that is the uh, ether element the ether. When we're looking at exploration, we're looking into the unknown, unknown hopefully, and seeing what we can um, pull out of that. So we'll take six cards right off out of here for this. This is one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Put these over here this time. And uh, so we're going to see what is a signifier for this card for this pool regarding exploration, uh, embracing change. The signifier for this ooh, is the tower. You know, the tower is a scary card because it's usually complete uh, and utter uh, destruction and downfall. But what's good about the tower is that once we've wiped out the issues, it's almost like you're cleaning uh, a wound. Uh, you're getting rid of a cavity. Um, you're uh, taking, separating the wheat from the chaff. Once you've experienced this this change that, you, that wasn't welcome. It's not something you were looking for. But then you stop and you pick up the embers, you go through and you see what's left, and you start to rebuild uh, your experience. So, exploration, and it works in perfectly with exploration. We've got to separate everything out and see what's left and then start to build something up from there. The challenge to this tower is the Three of Swords, which is typically a broken heart. So, and you can see right here in this card that we've got the beautiful uh, heart of stone here and the Three of Swords here. Uh, just depicting um, uh, a deep-rooted uh, feeling of loss. So if that certainly uh, plays perfectly with this tower. Let's um, uh, embrace uh, the difficulty that comes to us so that we can move past it. Okay? Don't deny it anymore. Uh, grab a hold of it. Bring it up into your face. Give it a big hug and then put it back and say, now, what am I going to do? 
the basis of this reading then is the Six of Cups, and it's fine to look back at how we things things were at another time and remember that, and perhaps even wish that things were that way again, because that might inspire us to explore the possibilities that are available to us today. So this um, Six of Cups is getting ready to cover up that tower, and I really, I really like that. And the past of this reading is the Seven of Wands, and the Seven of Wands is recognizing that you know the issues that we're going to have to deal with um, may not be easy. Uh, they may be reoccurring. They may be poking their head out when we last least expect it. But look at this. You can deal with it. You have a plan yourself. You're ready to uh, use that plan to uh, to um, dominate the issues that are coming up towards you. So that's what kind of how we kind of got to this point that uh, we needed um, uh, the Seven of Wands. In the sky of this reading, then, is the Four of Cups. And again, whenever you've got a loss, whenever you've had a heartbreak, whenever you're thinking about the past or when you're dealing with all these issues, you sometimes are perhaps being... Cups are of passion and, and emotions, and here we see this fella is looking at these cups. He's got a spilled cup here, and there's another one here that if he would just turn around, or she, just turn around and notice what's waiting for them. Sometimes you don't think you want something else. You just want to ruminate over the loss, but look, stand up straight, and take in your environment, and look for what's worth, what's worthy, what's valuable, that's close to you. Pick, that, pick up that chalice and continue your journey, okay? So look, we're getting rid of that uh, tower moment. And then in the um, final outcome for this dyadic cross, King of Pentacles, exactly what you want to be. The King of Pentacles, this is your worth, this is your value, this is everything you are. It's fire, it's passion, it's solid, it's who you will be. You can conquer this issue, and the King of Pentacles is who you will become to get this done. So, love that rating. You've got it all within you. You just have to believe it. Why wouldn't you believe it? You got this far in your life. Uh, why wouldn't you be able to continue on and do some more wonderful things. If you chose the third card, if you chose number three, Intuition, which was worked perfectly. I mean, if you chose all three of these cards, they're taking you on a very positive path. Intuition, let go, trust yourself. And this is also the element of the ether, okay? So let go and trust yourself. And um, what else do you have at some point? Sometimes we're so cautious, we, um, we don't believe that uh, the way we're going is the right way or the best way but guess what it's a move forward it's you going in a direction it's you going into your future which let's face it you don't have a choice you're going into your future whether you want to be at the the helm of it or not that's where you're going you can hold on to the back of the boat and be drug into the future or you can stand up at the helm and and uh, marshal the way in so six more cards for this last one one two three four, five, and six. I really love doing these oracle picks. I don't know why I don't do them more. Um, so here we go. We've got these six cards for this dyadic cross. And the signifier for this uh, intuition is the fool, of course. Let go and trust yourself. What could be more in tune with that sentiment than the fool potentially stepping off a cliff He's got with him uh, what he believes he's going to need for this journey. He's got his intuition. He's got some good luck. And uh, he's excited. to. He's got his eye on the future. So this may seem foolhardy, but uh, trust your intuition. Just let go. Okay? The challenge to doing that, though, is the king of swords. Because we're always wondering, you know, swords of truth, justice, rules. Rules? Am I doing the right thing? Am I making the right step? This fellow has got one firm one foot firmly on the ground and getting ready to push off with the other so he knows that he's fully in charge of the truth of the justice of the rules that he's going to follow and he's taking one last think before he starts to move off in that direction okay, that's the challenge to that uh, full uh, intuition and then the basis of this reading here is the eight of wands which is the eight of wands speaks to you know lots of issues they could be coming at you fast and furious or they could just be planted next to you waiting to um for you to deal with them as they as they're lined up here so you know you've got this uh, eight of wands and so why not take advantage of it you know pick up and let's make a choice in the past of this reading ah an inverted card i'm really unhappy about inverted cards but we'll go with it so this is the star the star uh, speaks to us, and I'm just going to look for a cheat sheet here to make sure I have some nice so guidance, faith, seeking answers, relief, insight, harmony, and inspired. So the star is everything you would think the star is. Harmony, inspired, taking chances. <coughs> this star is, again, 
balanced on the solid rock and taking a dipping a toe into emotion and trying to find that perfect balance. So be the star. Don't be afraid <coughs> to move ahead. Now the sky of this reading is rebirth. Oh yeah. <coughs> Sorry, I got this cough. Whenever you're taking a step uh, on a new journey, it's almost like being reborn. But this really speaks to kind of the end of the journey and then starting again. And so that's what's in the sky here. We want to start off on this journey so we can get to a point where we can get on to the next issue. Really love that. Rebirth. And then the uh, final outcome for this is the end of the journey. So this talk has been all about uh, getting cycles going, moving forward onto the next thing, using your intuition. When this uh, acrobat starts her routine, she knows she's going to do one routine, she's going to complete it, she's going to do another routine, she's going to complete it, and she's going to do a third routine, and then she's going to take a bow, and she's going to gracefully walk off the stage. And that's what this reading is all about. Start your journey. Know that you can do it. Deal with the issues as they come up. Get your balance. <coughs> Understand the rebirth, and then don't uh, uh, worry about the end of the cycle. Just start again. I'm going to have to turn this tape off so I can uh, get a drink of water. Well, I had my drink of water. I may not have, in fact, I have another little sip. And that was a big help. And so, like I said, the number one was empathy. Number two is expiration. Number three, intuition. All great cards. And you're going to have a perfect day today. Just trust yourself. I'm Mark, my journey through tarot. Tomorrow's another day. Stop by, we'll do it again. Ciao for now.